Bernie Sanders ran for president as a Democrat in 2016, 2020. He got the enthusiastic support of left-wing intellectual Cornell West, a.k.a. Brother West. Now it is the professor's turn to run for president, but he has chosen the Green Party ticket. And that may have Democrats worrying and saying, don't run. Princeton professor Dr. Cornell West joins me now in a prime time exclusive. Brother West, you are looking well. Thank you for being well, here to make your case and your witness. My dear brother, one is always a blessing to be in conversation with you. And I just thank you for giving me this time. And I have those precious memories of your beloved father, Mario. He it was his Princeton birthday today. He loved you, playing. Cornell West. He loved and you. Sister Matilda, Matilda, Sister Matilda, your precious mother. You are a blessed brother. You know that. Boy, she's watching right now, and she's going to say, why didn't he give Cornell West more time? Because that's what happens <laughs> when you say nice things about mama. Uh, so, <laughs> Professor, uh, let, let's deal with the dirty business first. The Democrats are saying, what? Just when we need to come together most, you're leaving the fold and creating risk uh, that may hurt the Democrats. What is your response, sir? My response is, is that we're at a moment now, in fact, where we've got to get beyond the hatred and the revenge. And this is what Quest for Truth and Justice is all about. This is what the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and Dorothy Day and Rabbi Heschel and others are about. And this candidacy, this, my own candidacy in part, is what that legacy looks like in the realm of electoral politics, calling for the abolition of poverty, calling for massive cutbacks in militarism, calling strong supports for trade unions, fighting for living wages, and most importantly, something spiritual and immeasurable, brother. We need a different tone. We need a different spirit where we can engage with one another at a level of humanity. So I can come in and say, look, I don't hate brother Trump. I just hate mendacity. I hate, I hate gangster behavior. I don't hate brother Biden. I just hate hypocrisy. I hate neoliberal policies that don't speak to the needs of poor and working people. And, you know, the legacy of Martin King is always what? Beginning with the least of these. I mean, I speak also as a revolutionary Christian. It's the least of these, those in prison, the hood, in the barrio, in the reservation, white brothers and sisters who are catching a lot of hell. That's why I'm going straight into Trump country. And I'm going to tell those white brothers and sisters, I care about you. I know you're wounded. You don't need to follow a neo-fascist pie piper like Brother Trump's. There's another way. There's another way. There's a way that, that, that will connect us together in our human solidarity, accenting the best. So this campaign is very much about what? Introducing America to the best of itself. Hmm, that's a good Concern line. about the vulnerable, integrity, honesty, decency, and a spirituality to get us beyond all of this vicious hatred and revenge. Two things. One, why not do it as a Democrat? Well, because the Democratic Party has shown itself over and over again, and you know my love for my dear brother Bernie Sanders. Mm. It's shown itself that both parties now stand in the way of coming to terms with the the, the, the plight of poor and working people. Sixty percent of our fellow citizens, no matter what color, barely making it day to day, month mm -hmm. to month. Both parties tied to Wall Street. Both parties tied to military expansion. Look at the debt ceiling agreement. Pull from the poor, military expansion. Both parties agree. Mm. And so if the Democrats were concerned about a brother like me or any other voice, then they would have candidates that would speak to the needs of poor and working people. Understood. Second challenge. Uh, what you're pitching doesn't sell. The reason they play to the negative, the reason they play to who is worse, the reason negativity has become proxy for insight is because it works. The Greeks gave us the word demagogue. They gave us no positive opposite. You are trying to love it up at a time when it is animus that is fueling people's actions at the polls. Well, I mean, the hounds of hell, of greed, organized greed, of indifference, routinized indifference, of hatred, institutionalized indifference, uh, institutionalized hatred. Those things go back to the beginning of the species. Every generation has to bear witness to the love that has been put in us, the courage that has been put in us, and we go against the grain of the hatred, against the grain of the greed, and against the grain of the indifference, and that cuts across both parties. Now, we know these things also cut through each one of our souls, but at least we are willing to raise our voices and take a risk 
and of course, be in the world, but not of it against the grain, saying, lo and behold, the memories of those who came before. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.